There you go. That was the new single, Take Me Dancing, by Jake Carter, to welcome you back. Yes, Jake entered the country music scene in 2017 and has since released five singles. An EP, he won Dancing with the Stars and is now preparing for his own show in Vicker Street later this year. So he's taking it easy, really. The <laughs> superstar that is, Jake Carter, has managed to take time out of his busy schedule to join us now. That has club hit written all it does, over. Yeah. It does, yeah. You said country music scene, but I, I actually have I no disrespect to the country music scene. No. Uh, I'm steering well, so to the last year. I mean, everyone expected me to do country music, yeah. um, but since I started now, but it's very much that's not country, pop. Jake, is no, it? No, no, I, no, that's mainstream I don't call it country. Uh, I don't know who actually calls it country. Uh, I would call myself a pop singer. I mean, all my music now is very pop. Yeah. I mean, everyone expects me, I suppose, or expected me to do country when I started out. Yeah. Uh, and no disrespect to it, I absolutely love country music, but uh, it's not me. So uh, I am very much pop. And that latest single with Una is, um, with yeah, as you said, it's very, it's very club mixy. This is with Una Healy. It is Una Healy from the Saturdays. Um, I mean, I was a massive Saturdays fan growing up. So when she asked me to do a duet with her, uh, it was kind of like, am I dreaming? Someone pinched me. Um, <laughs> That's kind of cool, isn't it? Was. it? I, I had a Saturdays poster on my wall, I'm not going to lie. So no. if she's listening to this, she's did you probably thinking, uh, why did I do a single with that fella? <laughs> but um, yeah, we released that. And it's very sort of, um, as I said, I would be very pop, but that was kind of a step into a bit, I guess, the club mix scene. It is sort very of clubby, isn't Avicii it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's very different and very sort of summer anthem -y. So it was great to do, and Una was such a pleasure to work with. Yeah. Uh, and it was kind of a bucket list uh, kind of tick, because I got to sing with the Saturday. You complement each other very well as well, yeah. because Una's voice is, is very different, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It's a very yeah, yeah. unique style it she is. has. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's a great singer and um, a great musician. And that song, a lot of people actually think I wrote that song, because it's about dancing and take me dancing. Uh, obviously with the Dance for the Stars thing, but yeah. I didn't. It was actually written by Una, and she brought the song to me, and it was very different when she brought it to me. It was a kind of acoustic singer-songwriter feel, mm -hmm. uh, because a lot of Una's new stuff is like that. And I took it into the studio and kind of, with my producer, made it what it is now, which is kind of a summer anthem club type of tune, and yeah. it's been getting great reactions so far, so yeah. Um, is that part of the process that you enjoy most, is studio stuff, is messing around with stuff? Uh, it it would be, yeah, I mean, I'm a songwriter as well, and when you write a song, it's just um, sort of me and a guitar, so a song can become anything when you take it into the studio, yeah. and that's that's one of the joys of it, you know what I mean? I ha the, My producer, uh, David Arkins, he's great at kind of, taking a song and taking it to a completely different place that you wouldn't expect. I mean, that latest single, Take Me Dancing, if you heard the original version of it, it was completely nothing like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it is one of them joys that you can completely change up a song. Been a bit of a crazy year for you, I, I was it? just about to say Been the same thing. Absolute mayhem, yeah, I mean. Are you on the road all the time? Uh, pretty much, gigging. yeah, pretty much. Left, I'm, right I'm and lucky if I spend two days at home a week, but you know, I wouldn't change it for the world. I mean, I was, it was three days ago, um, a year, I moved over to Ireland and it feels wow. like I've been over here now about five or wow. six years. I mean, it's just been an absolute turbulent... That was... It's turbulent, a word? That yes, was a big yeah. word, yeah, wasn't yeah, it? Turbulent. Turbulent, yeah, turbulent, turbulent, turbulent yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. getting good with words. Uh, turbulent. Turbulent. Uh, <laughs> words. But, um, yeah, it's been mayhem. I mean, I couldn't have dreamt how well it's gone uh, with the music. I did Panto as well in the SSE arena and then Dance with the Stars and winning it, which I, I'm still shocked to say. Would it be like, fair to say you've gone from being Nathan's little brother yeah. to just Jay Carter? Oh, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll enough, always be Nathan's it? annoying little brother. I'll always be the <laughs> cheeky fella that was seen behind them, I guess. But, um, yeah, I guess it, it, it kind of has and the fan base and all has grown. And um, as I said at the start there, you said country music and people are starting to realise that I'm not country music, you know what yeah. I mean? That it is very much pop and I am very much my own person, which is, yeah. is great to see. I mean, I love my brother and I, I don't care if people will always call me Nathan's brother, you know what I mean? It, it doesn't yeah, affect yeah, yeah. me, I mean... To be honest, I wouldn't be where I am without him. He's helped me yeah. so much in my career. But, uh, yeah, it has kind of... I'm coming out of the shadows a little bit, I guess, yeah. When you got the call to do... Uh, potentially think about doing Dance with the Stars, what what did you think? Did you jump into it straight away? Or did you say, no, actually, no, let me think about If I'm being minute. honest, I did, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I'm always one of them things... One of them people that will throw myself at anything, you know what I mean? And when the opportunity came up... Um, I, I hadn't watched the series before. I'd watched a couple of episodes and I'd seen that it was really... It was a good show, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And I... A lot of people don't believe me, but I can't... I couldn't dance before. Like, I'd never danced, really. And but it did come very easy so for it you. It did, yeah. I mean, I said yes. Um, and then it was kind of the afterthought was, like, 
oh, Jesus, what have I said yes to? You know what I mean? Because like, you have to what jump if I into can't something dance? like that. You well, do. It's a I mean, huge it's commitment, it's isn't it? I, I have to take my hat off to any of the ones that were on it with kids and, and families and yeah, all, because yeah. it does take over, uh, I guess, a third of your year if you stay in it for the whole run. Um, but I had an absolute ball and it was the best experience of my life. But um, yeah, it takes you, a lot to do You looked out it. as well with your partner because Karen is not only an amazing dancer, but she's just such a lovely person. She is, yeah. She? We got on so well as well. And that, that sort of made the whole experience as well because when you're in a studio with someone for eight to yeah. 10 hours a day, I mean... They become your family. You're seeing do. more of them yeah, than your family. I mean, yeah. you see more of them than you see anyone else. I mean, yeah. Especially me, because yeah. I don't live at home, you know what I mean? But when, but when you started it, and you started learning, you yeah. know, in terms of dancing, and you were working with Karen, at what point did you think, God, we, we could actually go far on this, you know, we could do well? I didn't at all, to be just honest. I just took it came. week by week. I mean, when I signed up, I remember sitting down with my manager, and we were saying about the show, and he was explaining it to me, and, and we were like, yeah, it's, it's a great experience, and we are kind of like, oh, we'll probably get to about week three or four, because, I mean... At the start of it, I wasn't, I wasn't that well known. I was living over in Ireland for six months. I'd only released a couple of singles, you know what I mean? It wasn't like uh, I'd had a hit or anything. Yeah. So I guess I was one of the ones going on the show that weren't as known as the others. Mm -hmm. So we were saying like, oh, you know, if we made week three or four, that'd be great, you know what I mean? It'd be a great experience. And then as it went on and on, and you do find yourself getting more and more competitive. Of course, you, are, spend yeah, longer yeah. you start in the to become a real contender. Yeah, you start arguing with your partner, then you're <laughs> like, oh, no, I want to do this, I want to do yeah. that. Um, and yeah, as it went on and on, I think when I reached the quarterfinals, I was kind of like, this is a bit surreal, like, I can't believe I'm here. Yeah. And then as it went on and on, and then obviously the semis, I was in a dance off. So I thought I was going home then, yeah, yeah. Um, but I stuck to it. And then the final was kind of like, it was just, let's just enjoy it, you know. Um, obviously there was that thing in your back, I really want to win this, but I honestly didn't think I was going to win it. So I just went out there, had an absolute blast, um, and we danced the three dances that you did in the final. And then when I won, uh, there's a picture of me and Karen when we actually won the moment they announced our names, and it's just complete shock on our faces. So I completely didn't expect it, but uh, it was such a joy. Was there a, was there a bit of romance it. between the two of you? Oh, no, not at no? all, no, no, we're just good friends. Because I did watch thinking, the chemistry's very good there now. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> dancing, isn't it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But um, no, no, we're just good friends. OK. Good friends. Yeah, kind of I, disappointed almost. Yeah. Well, you're good at it, actually. Yeah, 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 I kind of secretly thought they're definitely a couple. Um, but <laughs> there's been a lot of speculation <laughs> <laughs> um, around same-sex couples for the yeah. next season. How do you feel about that? Um, I think it's if they're going to go with it, I mean, it's great. I, they probably won't go with it because I guess Dance with the Stars is a... It's a BBC-ran show, you know, it's ran by Strictly, and I guess they have to pass all type of sorts of stuff to get to that. But so it's like a franchise it almost, is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, so it probably have to go through so many different phases to get to that or stage. Or they have to but do it there first. Yeah, then... but I think maybe one day, if it does come in, it'd be great. I mean, uh, I kind of, during Dance with the Stars, I went to a few of the, uh, like, the competitions and stuff, um, and there was the, there does be, like, same-sex dance there. There's, like, two girls doing the dances and stuff, so it's great to see. And I think in this day and age, I mean... It's, yeah. It definitely should be allowed. Yeah. Uh, whether they will do it or not, hopefully one day they might. But um, I, I wouldn't fancy lifting a fella myself. I'd, <laughs> I'd stick to Karen. She's a lot lighter. But um, <laughs> no, maybe, maybe one <laughs> day, you never know. Maybe. With the help of a forklift, maybe. So you have Baker Street coming up. We have, yes. Um, Which is huge. I've never done a gig in Dublin. Uh, never done a gig in Dublin. We've done two tours and out, and they've gone so great. And everyone's, there's a lot of people being asking, when are you going to do a gig in Dublin? When are you going to do a gig in Dublin? Because uh, I've gone to so many gigs mm. in Dublin, and I've been to Vic Street so many times to see different artists. So we announced a couple of weeks ago now that I will be doing my own headline show in Vicar Street on the 29th of October, which is a bank holiday Monday. Uh, and I can't wait. It's all ages, so kids can come along. Um, and yeah, you I love just, it. It's a great venue. It's a great place to start. I can't wait to, oh, I can't wait to just play Dublin and Vic Street being such an iconic venue as well. Yeah, so I can't well, wait. Listen, keep up the good work. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks for coming million. in. And you can, have a, you can have a brownie now. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Continued success, Jake. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.